Glory be to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the age of all ages. Amen. At the church begin a holy period of the Holy Great Lent, and we see during that Great Lent a lot of commandments about repenting, praying, fasting, giving alms, and all about practices the church arranged today and through the psalms of the readings of the Vespers, Matins, and the liturgy set the tune of why all these practices that we should start in the Great Lent. The psalm in Vespers from Psalm 46 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In Matins from Psalms 100, know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. And in the liturgy from Psalm 2, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. So basically, setting the tune in the beginning of the Great Lent, and that's something we really miss in such a generation in that time, is fear of God, the fear of God. If I have the fear of God, I will be able to keep this commandment. I will be able to pray, to give on, to fast, to repent, to come back, and so on. And there are two kinds of the fear of God that the Bible mentioned. The first kind, the fear of God due to God's awesome divine nature. <coughs> and the second kind is due to our fallen and sinful nature. With the first one, the fear of God due to his awesome nature, and that's a fear in reverence, the fear in respect, the fear because God is exalted, the fear because our God is an awesome God. He inspired in the hearts of those who believe in him that mixed feeling of reverence and respect and fear. And this kind of fear is not a fear or from a terror or from frightening, but this is the fear of reverence and the fear of respect. The psalm in the, today in the gospel says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serving with fear and rejoicing with trembling. And that's the first kind of fear. The second one is due to our fallen and sinful nature. And we see this also in many passages in the Bible. Adam, when he fell, he said to God, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. And in the Psalm, Psalm 119, my flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. And this is, this kind of fear is fear from God's judgment because of my sin, because of my fallen and sinful nature. The first kind of fear, due to his awesome divine nature, will remain with us in eternity. But the second kind of fear will not remain with us in eternity. As we see two kinds of fear, we also see two kinds of lack of fear. Why people in such generation lack the fear of God? Why they don't have that fear of God? And we, why we are sometimes also tolerate the sin and we do not have that fear of God. And there is two kinds also of the lack of fear of God. The first one is because of hardening the heart, 
hardening the heart with sin. In the parable of the unjust judge, our Lord Jesus Christ is talking about unjust judge. And he said, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard men. His heart was hardened. And also we see that hardening of heart when the right thief repented and he declared his repentance. He, before this, he was telling the other thief, do you not even fear God seeing you are under the same condemnation? Do you not even fear God seeing you are under the same condemnation? And this kind of lack of fear because of hardening the heart. The second kind is due to filling the heart with love. I fear God because I love him. I have reverence because I love him and I have a perfect love to him. And this mentioned in the first epistle of St. John, chapter four, he's saying there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. There is no fear in love. And that's what Saint Anthony declared to his disciples when he told them, I do not fear God. So they marveled and asked him, this is a hard saying, Father. So he explained, I do not fear him because I love him. And that's the fear of God out of love and reverence. And the question how to acquire that fear of God in our hearts. There is also two things that we should, should, we should do to acquire that fear of God in our hearts. The first thing, as we see in most of the prayers in the church, in the liturgy, in the Agbeya, we pray, and the first thing that to acquire that fear of God is to pray to have that fear of God in your heart. The church teaches us in every prayer, when we pray the thanksgiving prayer, we pray the thanksgiving prayer and we say, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in your fear. Complete this holy day and all the days of our life in your fear. In the liturgy, the deacon say, worship, worship God in fear and trembling. And before the gospel reading says, stand with the fear of God. Pray to have the fear of God. And we see also the fear of God in our heart. When we have that fear of God in our heart, everything else, keeping his commandments and practicing his commandments will come at right after. And that's the second thing to acquire the fear of God, is to exercise. To exercise because in this, we will keep his commandment. In this, we will train ourselves to respect him. Give respect to everything pertaining to God. Our father Jacob, in book of Genesis, chapter 28, he saw God in a dream, and when he wake up, he was afraid and said, how awesome is that place this is none other than the house of god and this is the gate of heaven river the church the holy sacrament river the prayer when you stand up praying to god give respect to everything pertaining to him when you're reading when you are reading the gospel 
give respect. And through this, we train ourselves. We train ourselves, and also we train our next generation, our children and youth. In the Psalm 34, David the prophet king, and the king says, Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Speak peace and pursue it. And by this, we train ourselves, we exercise the fear of God in our life, and also we teach our children to exer exercise the fear of God. May God give us during this holy Lent, this holy time, to have the fear of God in our life. May God bless you and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.